Welcome to the Bite Size Guide to Christmas. Get ready for some holiday guidance, poetry, and general awesomeness of the vegan variety. It's a Christmas miracle. Okay, I wouldn't actually go that far. Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to another vegan nugget. With the holiday season in full gear now, I wanted to remind you of some vegany resources for the season. If you missed last year's Bite Size festivities, I have two multi-channel recipe collaborations for both Thanksgiving and Christmas dishes. Those delicious cruelty-free masterpieces can be found linked in the sidebar and below. I even contribute a sad attempt at a recipe in the Christmas edition. I have no kitchen skills. My more substantial contribution from last year was when I veganized the classic poem, Twas the Night Before Christmas, with the ever-tolerant Ubi by my side. Now Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen are no longer slaves to this sleigh. They are free. Now isn't that simply just how it should be? As it's a great, light-hearted video to watch in her memory. I also wanted to share with you two gifts of fantastic videos not made by me. Yes. Such a thing exists. If you haven't seen it already, Carrie McCarpet made an astounding Christmas commercial slash musical parody that is just expertly executed. Happy Christmas, fellow low life scum. I saw confections of death with mother's milk and honey. That is linked in the sidebar and below as well. And finally, a hauntingly beautiful and elegantly constructed poem by my dear friend Martin, aka Vegan Geezer, which for the British means everyday kind of guy, not decrepit old guy, as it does in the States. Just an FYI. Martin is the father of the adorable Jojo, who is featured in my kids' interview series. Martin's channel is full of great content with his family, and he's currently in the tail end of his 12 days of vegan Christmas. For day one, he shared this incredible poem that turns the whole concept of Christmas cheer on its head and shows the reality in a very poignant manner. It's not graphic in your face, but it is the hard truth delivered with powerful words. If these are the elements of merry, then we're sadly deluded, as a true merry Christmas can only be when this death is excluded. A Christmas where our consciences haven't been sedated, a Christmas where life is truly celebrated. You only did it this way before because everyone else did. You ignored your own nature that's been there since you were a kid. But now you've finally embraced your nature and it feels so good that you're finally experiencing this day as you should. You embrace not contributing to death with such pure elation. You celebrate the relief of your mind's liberation. So check it out and subscribe to that man and to Carrie. They're both doing important work. So that's the mini Christmas guide. Be sure to also check out my last video guide on how to stay vegan during the holidays, particularly around non-vegan friends and family. Everything is linked below and as much as I could fit in the sidebar. Always check my video descriptions as I link everything that you need there and sometimes things you don't. Now go live vegan, have happy holidays, and I'll see you soon. Bye.